We're following a weekend of street protests and widespread anger over the accidental shooting down of a Ukrainian passenger plane, Iran says it has arrested a number of people for their role in the incident. All 176 passengers and crew members on board the airliner were killed when the aircraft was shot down as it left Tehran last Wednesday. Well, President Hassan Rouhani has given a televised speech saying those responsible will be punished for what he called an unforgivable error. He announced a special court would thoroughly investigate the incident. بعد از اون که برای من مشخص شد Immediately after it was made clear to me that the crash was because of a very painful and unforgivable mistake, I immediately instructed the officials to make this information public and tell the people. This incident is an extremely bitter incident and it is extremely hard for people to accept. Even if the aircraft had crashed because of technical problems, it still would have been very hard to take. But after it was confirmed that it was human error that led to this tragedy, it compounded public sorrow many times over. Hassan Rouhani, well, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been talking to the BBC's Dan Walker about that incident. Uh, this is a little of what he had to say. The most important thing now is that tensions in the region calm down. And I was, uh, I was actually in... Uh, Amman uh, just at the weekend talking to, to uh, people in the region and they don't want a, a military conflict uh, between the West and Iran. I don't want a military conflict between us, uh, between the United States and Iran. Let's dial this thing down. Let's uh, get uh, more on what's been happening, because protesters in Iran have been holding demonstrations against the government since Saturday, uh, some met by a violent police crackdown. Uh, Caroline Hawley joins us uh, from Beirut. You've been monitoring events there. Let's just start, if we may, Caroline, just with the, the arrests. Do we know who, how many? Well, we know what the judiciary is saying, and they are saying that there have been 30 people arrested for taking part in what they call illegal demonstrations. But they have said that they are going to show tolerance to people taking part in legal protests. Now, it's not clear what is the difference between a legal and an illegal protest. Uh, you'll remember, of course, that the British ambassador, Rob McCare, was arrested over the weekend. Um, he said that he was attending what started as a vigil um, and then there was some chanting and that, and that he'd left. But the Iranians have said that was an illegal protest. Um, so we don't know the names of those who have been arrested. Um, we know that uh, the son of a prominent opposition activist uh, has been reported to have been arrested and also a very prominent uh, film director. And she had called for a nationwide rally to honour the victims of the plane crash. Uh, the other thing to say, Tim, is um, that the judiciary said there had been some arrests over the plane crash, but they have not said who has been arrested, uh, what level of official, and they have given no further detail on that. OK, in fact, that, that, that's what I was originally re referring to. But, but when it comes to the demonstrations, uh, are they still continuing in the numbers that we've seen in the past two or three days? It's hard to be honest because independent reporting is not possible to judge the scale of the protests. What's very, very interesting is that Iranian state media has started, or news agencies uh, affiliated with the state, have started to report on the protests. But we know that they took place on Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday, yesterday as well. We know that uh, riot police were out, that batons were used. And uh, there are some indications uh, from videos posted on social media that live fire was used. But it's hard to get a sense of the exact scale of this. What we do know is that there is absolute fury over what happened uh, to the plane crash and everything that led up to it, basically, and that that anger has not gone away and is not going away. OK, Caroline, uh, with the latest in Beirut, thank you very much indeed, Caroline Hawley.